Hello everybody, it's great to see so many of you uh, joining us today and um, thanks to those of you who've introduced yourselves in the chat and, and asked some questions already. Uh, my name is Sinead Whitty, I'm the acting course director for the brand new postgraduate diploma in global health research here at the University of Oxford. Um, so I'm delighted to introduce the course to you today. Um, and this is a little outline of what I'll talk you through. So the programme is fully online, so it'll take some time to outline exactly how that will work and how it will feel for you as a student and various other details as well. So please do um, keep the questions coming as I'm talking through. So the um, postgraduate diploma itself uh, takes 14 months to complete. It's taught over four terms. As you can see there on screen, each term has a particular focus um, from research design, data management and analysis, quality systems, and finally research implementation. So um, the course is designed for all people involved in health research, whatever the disease area is that you're interested in and whatever your particular role is, um, within the research team. We really do want a cohort that's geographically and demographically um, representative and that also, you know, encompasses the, the depth and breadth of any well-functioning research team. So taking this course will really help you understand how to run um, an ethically framed, high quality research study particularly um, within the context of a low research set, of a low resource uh, setting. So the course is unique on a number of fronts. It is um, the University of Oxford's first award bearing course that has been designed to be delivered fully online. And uniquely, there is no requirement for you to travel to Oxford at any point. So you don't need to worry about visas or taking a break from your career or leaving your family or moving your family. Um, and we hope that this um, flexibility will make the course um, very, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, very approachable for a lot of people and will give you the flexibility to actually um, take up your place on it. So at every level we have designed the program itself with really busy professionals in mind. So you will see as we go through all the flexibility that is designed in and all the practical elements as well. So this is really a very practically focused course. And while you take this, balance your study with your professional and personal commitments, you will enjoy the Oxford experience fully online. And when we talk about the Oxford experience, what we mean really is a very student centred and really supportive environment in which you learn to the best of your abilities. And we'll talk more about that as we go through. Excuse me. So we believe as well that the content of the course also adds to its uniqueness. We begin by asking what is health research and then we work all the way through um, finishing up with how to convert your research into practice. So um, I just want to take a moment to outline how we created the curriculum because that as well was a very novel approach. It is actually a crowdsourced curriculum. Colleagues at the Global Health Network here at the University of Oxford, together with um, colleagues from TDR, uh, conducted a huge piece of research uh, to find out really what were the essential skills that anybody involved in research needed to have. Um, we had over 7,000 respondents to that um, Delphi process. As you can see from the map on the left of the screen, the majority of the respondents were researchers from LMICs. We also had a substantial input from stakeholder organizations such as EDCTP, the European Commission, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and so on. So that gave us um, the essential research skills curriculum, which you see in the center, 
And we took those topics and further mapped them against the Global Health Network and TDR's competency framework that you see on the right. And that is what has given us the curriculum for uh, the postgraduate diploma. So when we looked at all the um, topics that we had, they naturally fell into those four teaching terms that I outlined briefly earlier. And they've also naturally fallen into the sections that give us our main course learning outcomes. So to design and implement high quality and ethical research, to translate that into new policies, best practices, or maybe medicinal products, and to effect effectively manage data right throughout its life cycle, and to practice research, always being mindful of its potential societal impact. So in terms of course content and how it works, um, we study four particular modules in each term. So there are eight teaching weeks in a term. What happens is, say in term one for research design, you'll study what is health research at the same time as outcome measures and protocol design. So you study those two subjects for the first four weeks. And in the second four weeks, we move on then to ethics and community engagement. And that's how it works right, right the way through. So how does a, a typical week um, look how does it feel? What's the structure? So if you can see on screen here, we start at the top with the purple circle. Um, so we have an interactive pre-recorded lecture. And when we say interactive, what we mean is that you interact with human beings on it. So you can click on any part of the lecture and leave a message for your uh, teachers, for your classmates, and your teachers and classmates will respond to you there. This is really helpful for us because um, the teaching team can understand where you're stuck, what you don't completely understand, and also what you're really interested in. So it's a great way to share your experience and expertise right at the start of the week. And we follow that up with some real world tasks, and that really helps you to put the theory into practice, particularly bearing in mind the context in which you're working. Those tasks are reported onto discussion forums that the whole class can see. So we all learn from each other and the discussion continues. Now, what happens is on those discussion forums, your teachers will come in and they will give you feedback so that you're really clear on what you're doing well and also what you need to do to improve. So maybe, you know, we'll invite other class members to build on an answer that you have started, for example. So it's all really supportive. Um, uh, with the idea of helping everybody to um, learn to the best of your ability and also to share your expertise and to share your questions because that's really important too. In the middle of the week then we come together for a live class which would be on Zoom or similar and this is not a lecture because we've already had that right at the start of the week. So in the live class we take time to talk about those parts of the lecture that were a bit tricky uh, that might need a bit more explanation and also to delve into the parts of this week's topic that are most of interest and relevance to you. So it's a really dynamic, um, lovely part of the week to come together live. That's followed up then by an individual guided reflection where you will write up a really short note on what you learned, why it's important to you and what are you going to do with this new knowledge or skills that you've gained this week. And it could be, you know, that you've realized that actually at your site, you're already implementing best practice. And that's a wonderful thing to realize and to share that with your own team at work. So that's a lovely thing to pop into your reflection. Or it could be that maybe you want to implement uh, some change in your workplace and you're not really sure of who you might need to bring on board to uh, support you in that, who you might need to have on a team in order to make sure it's successful. So you can talk out those particular questions with your own personal tutor and you get one-to-one -one feedback on that guided reflection. Now, I'll talk in, in a moment about the assessment and when I do, um, those real world tasks and the guided reflection are going to come up again. So just bear those in mind. So naturally, um, the week doesn't look all circly. 
it looks a bit like this. So we use um, Canvas, which is the University of Oxford's online learning platform. So this is our classroom. It's where we meet. It's where you find absolutely everything you need. And the design is really simple. You start at the top of the page and you work the way down. So you can't get lost. You can't forget anything. Um, Canvas is available as an app that's free to use. Um, so you can uh, work on the go if you like as much as possible the content will be downloadable so you can also have the flexibility to work offline and everything absolutely everything you need is here including additional resources which might be books journal articles videos or podcasts and you will also have um, full access to the university's libraries online of course um, on screen here you have the beautiful and ancient Bodleian Library on the right hand side and its next door neighbour, the Radcliffe camera to the left. Um, these are just two of the 100 libraries that make up the Bodleian Libraries group and together they offer you access online to 1.4 million ebooks, 118,000 e-journals and over 1300 databases. So if you can't find what you're looking for here, I don't know where you'll find it. So you'll be extremely well prepared for your learning um, and for your assessment as well. So we have one assessment per term. Um, the design is that you do a little bit every week. So you never actually have a crunch point where um, all your essays are due or anything like that. And again, this is part of the design because you will be working at the same time as studying. So um, we really want to support you through uh, the assessment. So what happens is we come together at the, the first week of term, uh, we announce the assessment details, you will be put into assessment teams, um, and you will have a team tutor who will help you form as a team and decide how you're going to work together. Now, you'll have a private group space on Canvas that you're free to use, um, but a lot of groups like to use WhatsApp or something like that just for really quick informal communication, and that's absolutely fine. And then at, at around about the midpoint in the term, as a team, you will submit the first draft of one section of your team assessment and you will get formative feedback on that so that means you don't get a percentage or a letter grade um, what you get is a roadmap to uh, your continued success so the feedback will tell you what you're doing well and what you need to do to improve so you should have a very clear path forward then um, in terms of guiding the work that you do for the rest of the term on your team assessment then in week 10 that's assessment week, which for us is celebration week. So the team assessment is a live presentation. The whole class is there and everybody learns from the work that you've done. You will have worked really hard um, to create your team assessment. So we hope that you'll enjoy um, sharing that with the whole class and being really proud of it. Um, following the, the presentation, then we'll have a few minutes for questions and answers with the assessment team. And also then there's an individual assessment uh, element to assessment. So if you remember those um, reflective uh, pieces that you will have written every week, you, what you can do is bundle those up, put them in context of the overall term and submit that along with a note that outlines um, what was your contribution to the team assessment and what you learned from that. So what you'll find actually is that in addition to learning theory and how you might put that into practice in your own particular context, you'll actually be developing a host of really valuable and really important transferable skills. So everything from critical thinking, interpersonal skills, those advocacy, communication skills, academic writing skills, and so on. These are highly valued by employers across the globe, regardless of um, the role that you have within your own team at work. So um, really what's hugely important to your success and to your enjoyment of the whole process of studying online with us is the support that we have for you as students because the reality might be like the picture on the top of the screen here that you will sit down at your own computer on your own at the start or the end of your working day and you'll be working away on your your uh, coursework but it should actually feel like the picture on the bottom that you're really embedded in this hugely supportive, friendly team um, where everyone's there to help each other out. Um, 
and you have all the support from the academic and admin teams through the formative feedback that you get every week. Your individual tutor is there for you. Your assessment team tutor is there for you. But the most important thing really is that your classmates are there for you. And it's those connections that you're going to make with the peers in your class that are going to help you through on those weeks when you're a bit stressed at work. Um, maybe you have pressure at home. Maybe you're not feeling so well. Um, having those good, uh, strong uh, social networks are really, really important. So we help you uh, form those as well at every point. So that's a, a brief outline of the course and how it, how it works online. Um, I hope by this stage you're somewhat interested in applying. The entry requirements are on screen here. If you have a degree in one of the four areas that's listed, that's terrific. You can use that. Um, to, to meet the entry requirements. If your degree is in a different area, or if you don't have a degree, but you do have at least three years relevant work experience, you can use that to meet the entry requirements. So do please email the course um, if you have any questions about your own eligibility for it. The uh, links will be in the chat there. Thank you very much, Lauren, for popping those in. Just to say there is an application fee of £75 that's standard across the university for any course. There are some waivers for people from low income countries. Again, if you're wondering if you fit in that category, um, send us an email and we'll advise you. You do need to submit some paperwork. So what I'd suggest is if you're interested, begin your application process straight away. You can add to it over time. Um, and what happens is we shortlist candidates and we interview um, everybody on the shortlist and then uh, we'll follow up with you to offer you a place uh, all going well. Uh, just to say that there is a fee for the course as well. This year it's £12,880. I do appreciate that. It's a substantial amount of money for anybody to get together. There are some bursaries available. So um, please don't let the course fee put you off from applying. And again, um, do email us uh, if you've you know, particular questions about your own individual circumstances. We'd be delighted to hear from you. And I suppose really, um, as much as we're really proud of the course that we've created um, and how special it is, how special the University of Oxford is, what really makes the university special. And I think you will have uh, gotten this idea very clearly from Prashista's uh, talk as well, is the people. And um, that's what really matters. And so on screen here, we have a number of Oxford people, past and present. I mean, we could add loads more names to it. And we'd love to add yours. So will you join us? So thank you very much, everybody. Um, we look forward now to uh, hearing your questions in the Q&A, or maybe some of them are in the chat. Um, but that's everything from me. Um, thank you so much.